www.blog.stampwithelaine.com and welcome to week three of my Christmas countdown series. Today we're going to be looking at the stocking stamp set with the stocking thinlets dies. They can be purchased separately but if you bought them together it will save you 10%. I'm also going to be showcasing the Sizzix Dynamics textured embossing folder. If you make a comparison, the thickness between that one and an ordinary embossing folder, you can see how much thicker this dynamic one is to the normal one. This is what we're going to make using this textured embossing folder. The card base is half an A4 sheet cut at 5 and 7 eighths by eight and a quarter inches that's 14.9 centimeters by 21 centimeters with the long side on top score at four and one eighth that's 10.5 centimeters and fold it in half you'll need some scraps of basic gray emerald envy and cherry cobbler and some dazzling diamonds you will also need a piece of cherry cobbler cut at five and a half by three and three quarters that's 14 centimeters by 9.5 centimeters for the inside of your card here you need cherry cobbler and emerald envy ink and an a and a c block for stamping with the score two You'll also need your Big Shot and Magnetic Platform and a spritzer filled with tap water. Let's get started. Where the fold line is for your card, but that up to the 6 inch score line and then on the 7 inch score line, just an inch down, you score at 7 inches and 7 and 1 eighth inch. Bring your magnetic platform in, place your cardstock on top and you take this die and place it where your 7 inch and 7 and 1 eighth inch score line is and the die here will just fit in, in between those two score lines quite nicely. Then place your top cutting plate on top and you're ready to run it through the big shot. Pop that out carefully. Bring your scoreboard back in with the edge opposite the die cut. You pop it on your scoreboard and make sure that it's centered and then you want to work outwards you want half an inch between each panel so basically we're do doing a tongue and groove effect so you count six and a quarter inches <clears throat> and then uh, six and three eighth then you count four from six and three eighth one two three four and then score at seven. One, two, three, four. Then you score the next one along an eighth of an inch count. One, two, three, four. And score the next one. Count again. One, whoops. One, two, three, four. And score the end. <clears throat> so it's better to do it that way than to give you all sorts of measurements. Let me zoom that in closer so can you, you can see it a bit better. Right, so from the 6 inch mark you go backwards so that becomes 5 and 3 quarters. So you're counting 2. So <clears throat> you want to score the next groove. And you count one, two, three, four, score again, score the next one so that these two are close together. Then you score one, count from there, one, two, three, four, 
next to it. One, two, three, four. Skip one. And from that groove, count four. One, two, three, four. Up to this score line here. Next one. Up to that score line there again. So if you look at it closely, you've scored a panelling. Remember to put some glue on the back of these bits here, where the word is, and along the panel there, and on your cherry cobbler piece. Your stockings out but you can only do it one at a time because there's only the one die so it's the plain outline and you want to cut it in cherry cobbler one in basic grey and the other in emerald envy so I'll do that off camera cut my stockings also cut the tops for the stockings at the same time using this die now we're ready to emboss so we need to spritz <clears throat> our stockings with water to dampen, to soften the cardstock basically and you want to do it on both sides now this is the way you make the sandwich for your for this special dynamic embossing folder you only need the platform, you don't need the adapter, so that one, and then you want to put it so that the seam or the binding uh, feeds into the big shop that way. So I've <clears throat> placed it so that there's a cable stitch running through each stocking, and you don't need a base plate for this, you only need the folder and then the top cutting plate and then you're ready to run it through the big shot so I'll do that off camera you what a deep impression that leaves because the stockings were a bit too long I actually snipped it off snipped about a half of an inch off stack them together so they're all the same leave these to dry first Otherwise, with it being wet, it will tear. These are the images I'm using. Wishing you a season filled with love and happiness. The holly leaves and the holly berries. So let's do the inside of our card. Some cherry cobbler ink. So ink it up in cherry cobbler. So cherry cobbler berries and emerald envy holly leaves on a scrap of whisper white I'm going to stamp three sets of holly leaves and three sets of berries bring in the magnetic platform stamped images and this time we're going to be using the holly leaf die and the berries die. I'll go and do that off camera. I'm just going to glue these to the stocking. Glue dots to the back of berries. I've put dimensionals all on the back here, taken the backing off all the dimensionals. So now I'm ready to pop them on my card. So start with the middle first, then space it. There you have it. Cable stitch stockings. This one with the holly, that one with the pearls. Which do you prefer? 
So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you like it, do give me a thumbs up, subscribe or share on Facebook and my grateful thanks if you do. If you're watching from YouTube, you'll find the list of supplies I use below this video in the show more section with direct links to my online store. They'll also be listed on my blog .com. You can find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. Thanks for joining me today and do pop back for more in my Countdown to Christmas series. Thanks for watching. Bye.